after you buy Hermes, your life changes. Like, you just stop lusting over all these other, like, contemporary or not contemporary brands. All right, hello everybody. This video, again, is not scripted because I don't want it to be, but today I am going to talk about how buying Hermes has saved me money. And so, like, this is a really um, interesting thing that I found, but I think a lot of the Hermes buyers also agree with me on this, and it's that buying Hermes actually saves you money. Why? Because it it brings your bar, brings your expectations even higher. So when you go shopping and you look at like Chanel or like Fendi or like other brands like this, you don't even give a F about all this stuff because they just don't look as good as Hermes. And after Hermes has like raised your standards so much, it's hard for you to go back. It's hard for you to buy anything else. And outside is very loud. I hope you guys can hear it because I live and hybrid's supposed to be like really really quiet. I don't know why it is like so freaking loud and all these cars are like showing off how loud their engines are and like what what do you really want? Like what are you doing with your life other than showing off your loud engine? Which does that even mean like anything good? I don't see anything positive other than disturbing your neighbors and making them really pissed off. Like I am super pissed off right now. Anyway, I just uh I just wanna say that buying Hermes has actually saved me money because with all the other stuff that I buy from like Taobao and like other brands and Chanel and Fendi and all those other brands added together, it's probably like lots of Birkins already because I just spend a little on each item and they add together really quickly. When you spend like, let's say you spend $20 on, on I don't know, 100 different items, you don't feel that much because it's just $20 or it's just $10. But if you spend it like all together on one item, you really feel it. So that's why people think, oh, Hermes is so expensive. If I if I buy Hermes, I'll be wasting money. But like, it's not really the case because Hermes has such good quality that after you own it, you'll you'll realize what craftsmanship means. You'll realize why like so many people want to buy Hermes. You'll smell the leather. This is not Hermes, by the way, but this smells like Hermes. You'll smell the leather and you'll be like, oh my god, this smells so luxurious. I can sniff this all day. Like, <laughs> I can seriously sniff Hermes all day. It's just so beautiful. The smell is so beautiful. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand why buying expensive things can actually save you money in the long run because they last longer, they're more versatile, there's more costs or there's less cost per wear because you can get more wear out of it. And you can also get great resale value, great value retention out of the products that are very, very expensive. And so this is why I have transitioned my buying habits from like buying just like $10 or $5 dresses to like maybe $100, $200, I almost said thousand, accounting habits. But um, $100 to $200 dresses because I find that they can last me a lot longer and I now also want to invest in like cashmere and silk. I love silk by the way. Silk feels so nice. My PJs are in silk and my pillow is in silk and they are just so luxurious. Honestly, like show yourself better where people can't see it because it's not like proving to other people anymore. It's like you feel good. That's why you do it. And I just find that so empowering. Anyway, um, yeah, buying silk things. I really, really, really enjoy wearing silk. It's so luxurious. But like back to the story, buying Hermes has saved me money because it upped my standard and Hermes things also like fulfill a big void in my life. Before I bought Hermes, I had like this huge void that I just want to fill it with more and more bags like LV bags or like Chanel Dior bags. And I just fill it with many different like bags that are not as expensive but they add up really quickly like think a chanel classic flap is like what i forgot 6k or something 5 6k and then add a little bit you can actually get yourself a kelly or a birkin um well excluding the baits that you might have to buy in order to get considered as a kelly or birkin buyer but still that is just like a thousand or two thousand dollar difference between a uh, Chanel and a Kelly. And I'm talking about like buying it overseas, of course, in the United States, I think everything's 10K. But like, just to say how there is really not that much of a price gap between like Chanel, LV, and Hermes. But people think of Hermes as like super, super high end and unreachable and so expensive that people just like dismiss the idea. They're like, oh, Hermes, that's for like, that's for like super rich or that's for like old people. I don't know why people always get this, but I don't think so because I know a lot of like 20 year olds that love buying Hermes. I know this girl, her Hermes like boxes are literally like to, to the ceiling. Like she lives in an apartment and her Hermes boxes are all stacked up 
so high that it's like basically a pole. So this goes to say that Hermes is not a brand just for old people or people of like a certain age. It's for everybody. Like if you can afford it, then you can afford it. There, There is really nothing more to that. I will continue loving Hermes. I really, really enjoy their products and I really enjoy how it is like the best of the best. And it's like also a validation to me because I want to be the best of the best so that I can deserve the best of the best. And it also made me actually into a better minimalist. So I was talking to my friend one day, um, my best friend, and I was like, yeah, you know, if I buy everything Hermes, then I can actually be a very good minimalist. Why? Because Hermes things are so expensive, there is no way that I can buy like five of each category. I can probably only afford like one of each category. Like maybe just like one plate that holds my jewelry and one like... I don't know, a uh, china set that holds my food. Like, there is only so many Hermes goods that I can buy with, like, my current financial status. And maybe I can only buy, like, maybe one Birkin and one Kelly and uh, one Lindy. I really like Lindy's right now, so Lindy will be in my next bag. I really, really want a Lindy now. But, like, yeah, to my point, I can be such a good minimalist because there is no way that I can buy, like, buy Hermes like I buy Chanel or Louis Vuitton because Hermes is like a lot more expensive and they also cover like many many different categories like cross categories from home goods to to clothing to bags so I can buy a lot of Hermes things and I also love wearing Hermes perfume by the way the Un Jardin Solanil I probably butcher that name but I love that perfume it is just so amazing I love it so much and um yeah my dream, like my ideal life situation would be being able to switch anything that I want into Hermes, like all these like home goods and maybe blankets into Hermes and like not having to feel guilty about it. That will be my ideal life situation because I do really like Hermes goods and I like being able to surround myself with the best of the best. But I also don't want to feel guilty. I don't want to feel, oh, I should I should have used that money to invest or I should have used that money into my 401k. And in my like next videos, I will go very deep into 401k and Roth IRA and IRA and the differences and the pros and cons. So be sure to check out those videos, like subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I post those videos because I believe it is so, so, so important to, to invest enough and save enough for your retirement so that you have enough what do you call it confidence you have enough confidence that you can afford luxury goods and i know this has been an argument because like having that money in the bank apparently is not good enough it doesn't mean you can afford those luxury items so i will talk about other than having those money in your bank you can also set like a certain amount of money aside for retirement so that you know you can actually afford these items without worrying about your future a bit far from the whole topic how i think irma saves me money but like in the end how you spend money is your choice it shouldn't be anyone else's business and no one should judge you no one has the rights to judge you if you like irma's great if you don't like irma's also great but in my opinion just like looking back at my own purchase history and my tendencies and my urges I really found that ever since I discovered Hermes and ever since I started buying Hermes and owning Hermes and using Hermes, I really stopped having like those urges or lusting over certain bags. And I also did videos such as like breaking up with Louis Vuitton or just not chasing trends and all that. And it is because like thinking back in hindsight is because around that time I discovered Hermes and like having Hermes in my life really made me realize, like, put everything into perspective and all those, like, other brands are just, like, not comparable to Hermes. So, like, ever since I started buying Hermes and owning Hermes and using Hermes, it just really made me have a lot less urges for other brands. And now I'm just, like, totally loyal to Hermes and everything that I see, I, like, think in Birkin and Kelly terms. Like, I think, oh, if I buy two of this, I can buy a Birkin. Or if I if I buy like 1.5 of this, I can buy a Kelly. Like I just do my math like that. And it's kind of crazy, but um, yeah. And I even talk about my teeth as like, you know, in the Birkin Kelly currency. So I sometimes joke around and be like, you know, my veneers, I, I have veneers right now. So I hope there's no lipstick, but these are my veneers. My veneers, they actually cost me like a Birkin I think because they were I think 7k 6k 7k so yeah my veneers um also part of my I guess Birkin Kelly 
<laughs> measurement tool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Are you a lover of ermines or no? And have you ever gotten something that you bought and you're like, wow, this like changed my life. I will never go back to all the other things. I know there's like a subreddit called, I think, buy it for life. And it's one of those things that you buy it for once and you never have to like you never have to go out and buy another one. I think Hermes is one of them, especially the bags. You can literally use it for a lifetime. I know for a fact that the Kelly that I own, the Black Box Kelly, is actually younger than me. Or no, I'm actually younger than the bag I own. That bag is older than me. And so it is just amazing how long these bags can last and how beautiful they still look. And some of them actually look better with history. Like to me, I think the Black Box Kelly looks best when it's vintage. When it's like brand new, it doesn't have the same feel, but when it's vintage, you can see the history behind it and I just love how it it just has a lot of story behind it like you might not know exactly what happened behind the bag and behind the history but you you just feel a sense of oh there is more to this bag like there there's like stories behind this bag and there's just so much more and this bag is not just an object this bag has gone through a lot and I just I just love that feeling and so yeah buy it for life that's a breaded I love and I feel like buy herbs is pretty much the same thing because these are things that you can pass on to your children and even if you don't have children you can pass on to your friends and even if you don't have friends you can resell them for a very good value for great value retention so that's why I love buying Hermes so much I believe buying Hermes in the long run can actually save you money and also so a side effect is just a good side effect is just helping you deal with all these like unwanted urges to buy other brands because after you buy Hermes your life changes like you just stop lusting over all these other like contemporary or not contemporary brands like even those like new Louis Vuitton designs like the I don't even know I can't name a lot of them like the cat catagram I think that's one of them and all these other like Louis Vuitton designs that I know normally I would like lust over like the large monogram I will lust over those designs if I did not have Hermes but since I own a couple pieces of Hermes a couple bags I just don't find the need anymore Hermes bags are just so classy so well made smells so good because the leather is just gorgeous and like I know whatever occasion I go into as long as I carry an Hermes bag it won't be looked as like too cheap and it is a thing like honestly going to events sometimes especially in LA people judge you by what you wear and what you bring and it's just like part of I guess human nature and part of the society that we live in and I know there are certain like what do you call those professions that people just don't care what you wear and tech is one of them tech people really just don't care what you wear but 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 other parts of the world like other parts of LA other industries people do care what you wear especially in fashion in fashion and in like vlogging or influencers people really care about what you wear so like just having the comfort knowing that carrying this Hermes bag will will be good enough like this will always be good enough just having that thought just makes me so comfortable so that's also one of the reasons why I love Hermes so much so yeah this kind of turned into like a uh, fangirling Hermes as a brand kind of kind of story but I, I just really I enjoy buying Hermes and I really feel like it does help me save money I'm not spending any more money buying Hermes than I would have been buying all the other things and brands as I have done in the past like in high school and before I discovered Hermes so I'm actually really really thankful um at first I thought I'd like spend a lot of money on like unnecessary Hermes things and buy a lot of Hermes baits but or like Birkin baits but in the end I I found ways I found ways around it and how I can score Birkins and Kelly's without buying all these baits and I've done like a series of videos on that and I will also link it over here so you can check that out so be sure to thumbs up subscribe hit the bell so you can see my videos and I will see you in my other Ernest videos